channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the love and support and the encouragement that I've been getting on a lot of my videos. Um, the personal text messages and then um, people sharing them like on my personal Facebook. I thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, moving on. Today we are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is a game changer for you guys. If you are... Um, you know, up there to where you want to start moving on to other palettes and you're abusing and using your one palette because we all have that one palette. I know, I'm there. I have my Morphe 350 palette, that's fine. So if you guys are ready to get another palette and you guys are kind of iffy of getting new high-end palettes, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Anastasia um, ooh, ABH, their shadows period, are amazing so you can start there you heard it first um, I might be a, a slight a little bit on the late game I know that this has uh, been out for a while but I love it I, I don't think that I could have abused it and used it I probably would have just bought a second palette like this palette is amazing um, I think that I've used it every single day since I got it and it also comes with a neat little brush it's like a double-sided brush so that's so much better just to get it because you get a free brush with it just saying anyway so we're going to be using the shadows from that palette only and this should be a pretty simple look so let's have fun and let's get started okay as you know we're gonna start with the Mac soft ochre paint pot I'm going to be uh, trying out some different eye primers, but I haven't found any that I like lately. Um, this brush is from Tarte. It's from a Tarte palette. Uh, I wanted to show this part because if you guys just find a fluffier, uh, more dense brush, that would be great just to apply it all throughout the lid. Um, I'm done using my flat lid. This actually spreads the product out a little more, a little better, you know what I mean? Okay, I know that I said in my intro that I was only using the ABH uh, palette, but we are going to use the Morphe palette. I'm sorry, I have to. So get your favorite transition color. Um, it might actually be in the ABH palette, but I just, I have to. Sorry guys, this is me. You love me or you hate me, right? So going to put this all over the top of my crease as our transition color. Get your blending brush out, you already know. Okay, now we're going to use the ABH palette. Don't mind my kissing, how awkward, right? Anyway, so my brushes and a couple others that I'm gonna show are so worn out on the labels. I will be linking them down in the description box down below. But this is a very dense brush, it's really short, so it doesn't spread or blend as um, much as the my E40 blending brush would. So that's what I want. I want to actually put it there and then I'm going to blend it out. Um, I'm going to be taking a lighter brown color and I'm going to be putting that in my crease. I will be spreading that. You'll see me turn my brush differently and actually making it wider, spreading it out a little more right here. Um, and then we'll blend it out to um, spread it evenly. How many times can I say br bread? How many times can I say spread in a description? So here is my favorite part. Blend it out right here, right now. Go ahead, okay? Blend this, honey. Don't don't leave the blending part. I, you, you must, okay? So here, we're gonna be taking the same brush. We're going to be using this more orange. I don't wanna say it's too burnt orange, but it is, it's more um, orange, obviously. Uh, and we're going to be putting that in the outer crease also spreading it out so you'll see that I put on a little bit more to where it looks like it's uncontrolled uncontrolled not controlled anyway and then um, I don't add any more because I know that I can blend that out I I hope that you guys know on my channel we blend here if you don't like blending get out of here Okay, here um, I'm looking for the freaking brush. Um, I don't know why it takes me so long, but this is what we're going to use for my lid, for your lid. Um, we are going to be taking the shimmer color. 
um, I, I know that it is a good tip to spray your brush at first. I actually didn't spray the brush, but let me just say this is without spraying the brush and only having primer on my lid that this shadow applies so well without any extra help. These shadows are seriously so awesome. I'm going to actually show you or it's going to look a little weird. Um, I'm gently holding this brush. I'm, I'm not too harsh on it on my lid and I actually get something in my eye. Um, I'm softly spreading it across my lid I'm tapping here and just trying to evenly spread the product throughout my whole lid. Why is this so hard to explain? It's really not that hard. Um, here again the NYC liquid liner I'm going to actually link this my video down below um, this takes me a little bit of time obviously and now here I'm trying to tell you eyeball liner description just don't don't mind me please uh, so we're gonna skip through this I'm cleaning it here um, again it will be in the description box down below don't mind my awkward dancing I have no idea what I'm doing like what Okay, find the next thing. Where is it at? I feel like I don't know. I'm never as organized as I want to be. Um, next is my Luxie 231 brush. I have a whole new set of Luxie brushes and I'm so excited to use them. Um, so we're going to be using the more maroon. Yeah, more maroon red. Um, I'm not going to be taking as much. I like to put my darker color on after I do my liner. So that I can get, because I can't do a natural V, I'm still working on it. So um, I apply it softly, mixing it in with the shimmer, and then I spread it out and try and fade it as the eyeliner goes out. Does that make sense? So uh, it's not as harsh is what I'm trying to say. So um, I don't bl bring it up in my crease because I'm going to blend. Eh? Blending, right? Okay. So I'm going to spread it, make it into that natural V look. And also blend it into the shadow. Yes, I think a hair got in my eye. Uh, I was just attacked. Um, so again, blending, making sure that it's all evenly um, blended. I need new words, guys. Like, I can't. I have no idea what I'm even saying anymore. But you will look fabulous after this. So again, with the you can't tell what it is. Um, but this is the same brush that we were using earlier. So we're going to take the darker brown color, like a chocolate color, and put this in the crease to darken the crease. I didn't want to use black. I felt that I had plenty of black on my eyes already. So I wanted to make it dark but not as smoky, I guess. That's that's kind of where I was going. And again, I'm just I'm placing it there rather than blending, spreading, you know what I mean? So after this, I will be taking my uh, blending brush and then putting it throughout my whole crease. You get it? Are you digging this look or nah? I seriously am dying just re-watching this over again. I love this so much. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the lid brush that we used for our pink shimmer. And I'm just going to apply that on the lid in some places where some orange and darker shades kind of fell. Um, and then I'll just re-blend that back out. I want everything to look, um, everything in its place, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, go me, go me, sorry. So here is a pencil brush. We're going to take the color that we put on our lid and put this in the inner corner of our eye. And um, I kind of go a little overboard. I actually use this on my nose also. I, I love this color okay I'm, I'm done expressing my love to you guys like you guys already know seriously it's it's awesome bomb.com love so a little goes a long way though you see me apply like four coats it you know ain't no shame over here um next we are going to curl the lashes okay and once they are curled to the heavens we're going to use the same, I don't mean to be so basic, Maybelline, the big colossal, big shot, colossal, colossal, whatever, colossal big shot. <laughs> and going to apply exactly 20 coats of mascara, or however you prefer. <laughs> so next we're going to apply lashes. Uh, these are my Ardell lashes. I, I hate to be showing the same things over and over, but you should know if I'm not getting away from something that means that it is just that good okay 
So here they are applied. Of course, it was going to take way too long for me to show you. Unless you guys want to see a video, put it down in the comments below and I will show you how to easily apply them lashes, girl. Okay, so I'm um, fixing a couple things here. Now we're going to take the Luxie 231 brush again. And I actually don't put any product on it. There's still some product on it from when I put the red maroon color in my crease. And I'm sorry, in the outer corner. And I just apply the rest of that color that's on the brush on my under eye as, um, you know, the effect, that the eye look, the, the finishing touch, you know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to take this Sephora black liner and put this in my waterline. I'm also going to be using a blending sponge rather than pulling my eye or my lid down with my finger that will actually mess up my concealer or any other makeup that I have on under my eye. So then I'll just have to reapply it. Let's avoid that. Um, the sponge works great. So here we're using the Flat Definer E15 brush by Sigma. That's the only brush I think in my whole video that I've stated. Um, but we're going to um, set the liner with a black shadow. So find your favorite. Um, I can't tell you where I got my black shadow from because I think most of my palettes have black shadow and um, set the whole liner on your bottom uh, waterline and it is totally fine if you get a little black in your eyeball I think it's kind of required to have a little bit of makeup in your eye <laughs> but um, if you can avoid it or know how to avoid it let your girl know um, last here we are guys we're here we made it it is the Maybelline mascara that we used and apply a quick coat of mascara on the bottom lashes and you're done. It's selfie time. Here we go. Are you excited? Look at yourself. Don't mind me. I got something in my eyeball. <laughs> Damn. Yay, we're done. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Okay guys, that is it for today's look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, tell your friends about me. Um, and I will also be linking the eyeliner video in the description box so that you guys can go and watch that. Um, okay, that's it. I can never figure out how to end this thing. So, here's my hands. Bye! Uh.